Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and this is my Bible. The Bible is so much more than a collection of dusty pages or words tucked away inside an app. In the Bible, we can discover how God wants us to live. God inspired dozens of people over hundreds of years to write down these words. They tell the story of God's incredible love for us, how God created us and made a way to restore relationship with us, even when we turned our backs. God's Holy Spirit can actually make these words come alive inside of us. And when that happens, <laughs> well, you can get ready to make some real waves. I've got four stories to show you what that kind of change can look like. There we go. First, John reminds us of the single most important thing, love. That's our starting point. Here is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world so we could receive life through him. Since God loved us this much, we should also love one another. If we love one another, God lives in us. He has given us his Holy Spirit. Now let's head back a few books to Acts. Here, Jesus has returned to heaven, but instead of fading back, Jesus' friends, the apostles, share his story everywhere they go. As more and more people believe in Jesus, the religious leaders get scared. They throw the apostles in jail, but no prison cell is enough to quench the believer's joy or cage the power of God's spirit. We find a completely different way to make waves in the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel. Here, an epic fight is in the works. Rich man, Nabal, has just rejected David's request for food. Even though David and his men have been keeping Nabal's sheep and servants safe. When Nabal's wife, Abigail, discovers what her husband's done, she's got a chance to run scared. But instead, she gets creative and proves that peace is an action word. Now we wrap up in the book of Proverbs. Quick. <laughs> Sometimes making waves actually means stepping back. In Proverbs 15, 18, we read, A person with a bad temper stirs up conflict, but a person who is patient calms things down. When something riles you up, you could fire back without thinking, or you can take a deep breath and stand still, asking God to help you respond. Making waves is all about calling on God's power and trusting God's timing. And I can't wait to see how it works out in you and me.